Peace, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle, and on this channel, I talk about quantum physics, law of assumption, manifesting tips that are going to help you to be able to manifest the best version of you. I also want to let you know that I am a mindset and manifestation coach. So if you would like to know anything that I do and any courses that I offer, just check the description box down below. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to get into are your negative thoughts spiraling out of control? Is that going to ruin your manifestation? I get this question a lot in my comment section, as well as I've been seeing that a lot of other coaches have been getting this um, in this niche of manifestation communities. So I actually would like to address it with my audience. Um, I want you guys to know that your negative thoughts do not have as much power as you think that they do. I have some exciting news that I'm going to share with you guys in this video when it comes to why your negative thoughts are not going to ruin your manifestation, okay? I want everyone to breathe a sigh of relief. Breathe in and let it go. Well, the first thing is that your subconscious mind is here to keep you safe. As you're saturating your subconscious mind, what's happening is that the old way of thinking, the old story that you're telling yourself, remember that is still dominant in your mind. But as you're saying your affirmations, as you're doing your visualizations, you're deciding to live in the wish fulfilled, the end result of your manifestation, you're doing all of the great things that it takes for you to manifest consciously, right? Your subconscious mind, though, is like, oh, shit, something new. I don't want to change. I want to stay safe. I want to stay comfortable. So now, all of a sudden, you may have these negative thoughts coming up. You're telling a new story about your life, but then the old story of you can't do that, who the hell do you think you are, how come so-and-so has it and I don't, all of these negative Nancy, all of these negative aspects of your, your life are starting to bubble up to the surface. And I want to let you know that this is actually a part of the process. It does not have to be everyone's process, but for the most part, this is completely normal. Um, your subconscious mind needs to continue to be saturated with your new story, okay? So keep going. Keep persisting in the fact that your new reality is yours. This is the new way. Say this to yourself over and over and over. This is the new reality that I am claiming. This is my new reality that I am claiming. This is my new reality that I am claiming. As soon as those negative thoughts start coming up, you start spiraling out of control, do your best to shift yourself into this is my new reality. Oh, nope. Those thoughts are in the past. This is my new reality. And once you start to get into the swing of shifting your focus back to the desired outcome, living from that end result, your mind will start to get used to the new way of doing things, okay? So let those thoughts come and go. I can assure you from someone who's done this, I've been through this before many, many times when you're looking to change something about your life, you're looking to change a, a new, change into a new habit, your subconscious mind is getting used to the fact that this is the way new things are going. This is how I teach my clients when it comes to having anxiety about your manifestations or just waking up very anxious, like afraid that you did something wrong or maybe you had one bad day where you were just all over the place, you were crying, you were frustrated. I mean, look, child, I've been there. <laughs> one day is not going to mess with your manifestation. Neville says that as long as you persist in the assumption that that thing that you are calling into your life is yours, it will harden into fact. You're supposed to decree a thing. And as you decree that thing with persistence and faith, it has to come to you. So there are no negative thoughts in this world that can stop you from getting your manifestation. The only way that negative thoughts can get in the way of you manifesting the things that you want to have in your life, that you desire to have, is if you make the assumption that your negative thoughts are creating. Your negative thoughts are not creating. Your negative thoughts are a part of the process. It is a scientific fact. And they've been able to study this, so you don't have to take my word for it. You can actually look this up. That your negative thoughts are not as powerful as your positive thoughts. Your positive thoughts have a whole different 
molecular structure, they affect you completely different than negative thoughts. Okay, so we can rest assured that. You definitely should write out your negative thoughts if it's starting to consume you with anxiety. If you do this and you get it out on paper, what happens is that now you have it tangibly in front of you. You can just rip it up, burn it, and now it's out of your mind. There you go. So that is another way that you can stop these, these spiraling thoughts from affecting you and making you feel as if you are ruining your manifestation. Now, the next thing, and this is the most important thing, okay? I don't care what anyone is telling you on YouTube. I promise you that the only person that can manifest your life the way you want to is you. I know for a fact that when I stopped, depending on what Susie said, what what Karen said, what Tara said, or any other manifestation YouTuber or conscious community YouTuber said, I was able to manifest and get clear about the things that really matter to me. Now, the last and final thing that I'm going to say is that you need to learn how to relax. Relax. Focus your energy on the things that matter to you. And once you go into that deep relaxation as you're falling asleep, just say, all is done. Everything is working out in my favor. Okay? That is the simplest way to get rid of those negative thoughts and no, they do not affect your manifestations, okay? It's a part of it's part of the process. Assume that things are working out in your favor. I am the master of my reality. I love you guys so much. Take care of yourself wherever you are and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.